Hi, this is Andy Morris again with visualaircraft.com. Before I showed you some more background on Deep Exploration 5 from Right Hemisphere and creating an IETEM or an electronic tech manual, I did want to give you a quick tour of some of the possible results. What I have here is an Adobe Acrobat Reader 8.1 document, and uh, this is a result of a DE5 uh, output. We have the same landing gear that I showed in the previous lesson. We can, uh, we can rotate it, we can zoom in easily using the mouse right within Acrobat Reader. We have the ability to change the, the lights and, and different types of, uh, of views of the landing gear. We can do uh, clipping planes and we have a number of ways we can interact from this model within the main viewport that you see here. And of course you can embed your own company logo or your customer's logo as well. Along the left hand side there's a bill of materials and here we have the list of all of the components and the quantity for this landing gear. Below that we see a total labor time involved in this particular procedure and how long this particular step takes in real time for assembly and in this case is actually disassembly. Step one, remove the center hubcap from the wheel assembly. We can tab over here to instructions. Uh, it's already been tabbed <laughs> and we'll go ahead and click play here and that is a little fast but you can actually see that taking place within the animation. We do have a number of other steps here that are uh, then you see the eight wheel lug nets co coming off and when they're off you can rotate the model and get a little better view or, or zoom in for any detail that you might need. I'm going to rewind all the steps here real quick and uh, use the home button to go back to the original default view and before wrapping up this quick demonstration, I will show you a couple of other ways that you can look at this model. One is a traditional illustration, like one that you may see in a paper uh, tech manual. And the other one is a toon style, sort of shaded illustration that looks uh, cartoon-like. And many people find it combines some of the best characteristics of a wireframe, or an illustration I should say, and uh, an actual a CAD model. So that's wrapping it up for now. I will be back with you shortly with another lesson.